Hi, everyone. I'm excited to share with you a template that Rusty and I have made available for purchase through our Notion for Academics program. And it's an academic research dashboard. And this dashboard has been a labor of love and something that I've used for quite some time now. And it's something that I wish I had had during both of my doctorate programs. Um, I've used a variety of tools to take notes over the years, the, the typical Mendeley, um, Zotero, Evernote, ReadCube, Papership, the list goes on. Um, I've tried pretty much every citation manager that you can think of. I've also tried just copy pasting things into OneNote or into Microsoft Word, and I've printed an awful lot of articles over the years. And this dashboard represents the workflow that I've established for myself and Rusty uses it as well to save content that we are reading online or content that we have found that we want to upload and add to our dashboard that we want to be able to review. And one of the reasons why I use this dashboard is because it's really simple to use, number one. And if it's simple to use, it's something I'm going to keep up. And number two, it enables me to start to synthesize ideas that and connections that I am making across different types of content. And when I say different types of content, I mean everything from articles to book chapters, to tweets, to blogs, to news articles. Um, pretty much, if you can get it digital, you can add it to this dashboard. So we wanted to make this dashboard available to you so you could get a, a feel for what the, our style of work is and, and the types of content that we produce. And so hopefully this could be a dashboard that would be helpful for you because again, I would have used this in a red hot minute during one of my doctorate programs if I had it, um, just because I spent way too much time trying to find a way to organize myself. Um, insider tip from someone who's gone through this process twice if you're going through a graduate program, don't spend so much time trying to organize yourself and spend more time reading. But I know it's easier said than done, especially when you're on the other side of it as I am now. So if you're in the midst of a major research project, if you're in the midst of a graduate program, a doctoral program, I think you'll want to check out this dashboard. Um, in terms of how we set this up, we're, we're using something called pay what you like. We've set it at a minimum of $10, but if you think it's worth more than that, and, and we certainly do, it's something that we really, really believe in and it's something that we use. Um, we'd be happy if you kick more in our direction, but it's a minimum of $10 and we, and we hope you find it to be useful. So I wanted to walk you through what you get with the dashboard and I'm showing you our filled out one and I'm actually showing you exactly what you get with the purchase. So this is what the dashboard looks like. Um, I have one sample article that's within the dashboard. And of course, all of this is customizable, so you can change, because I'm sure you're going to want to, the cover image, you can change the icon, um, you can add different things like different emojis and different headers, and I walk through how to do that in training videos that are included. Um, and this dashboard has two embedded databases, one for the academic research database, which is where all your content is going to go. So you can see some of the different fields that are collected here. Um, note the only information that is automatically captured is the URL if you're sharing it from the web clipper or and the title. Um, but other content, for example, like this notes information is rolled up from the notes and ideas database. So that is not something that you would have to do manually. You just put the notes in once and it will also show up here because the second database that is embedded on the dashboard is the notes and ideas dashboard. And this particular notes and ideas database has information related to that article. So the sample article that's there. And the ideas and the content are actually entered here, but also show up here as well. And again, we have training videos to walk you through all of that. Um, so what you actually get if you were to download this from us is you would get this academic research dashboard and notice these fields, the, the dashboards for the, the databases for the research and for the notes are not filled in. Um, one of the limitations with sharing database templates is that embedded views don't work properly. So you'll just have to add them, but we walked you through in the videos for how to do that. So you would add your embedded view here for the research and you would add your embedded view here for your notes. And on this dashboard tips page, you can actually see step by step how to do this. So there are essentially four action items and a fifth if you want to take a look at our tools to set this up to get it up and running for you. In my opinion, watching the videos and setting this up is going to take you less than 30 minutes. And if you've had your special jolt of caffeine, it probably won't take you more than 20. So if you scroll down, you'll see that there are step by step training videos that show you exactly how to do all of this. So how to create a linked database view. So in order to, for example, get this database pictured here, there is a video to walk you through how to do that. In order to embed a view of your notes, there's a video for how to do that. 
and also for filtered views because one of the kind of unique features about this dashboard is that, that it will filter on the dashboard views of both the research you've collected and the notes you've taken. You can set it up with filtered views that show you, for example, only show me the research I've found in the last week or only show me the notes I've taken in the last week. And of course you can customize that. You can say the last 30 days, the last year, there's a lot of different choices there, but we walk you through how to do it for the last week because that's the use case that we use. There's also a video that shows you how to do, again, both the filtered views, so for notes and ideas, filtering it for the last week, and for your research for the last week. And there is an in-depth video that walks you through how my process for using the Notion Web Clipper in Chrome, and it's also available for Firefox, so how you can send content directly into your, your database for your research. And I also give you some tips about doing that, both from the perspective of, so you've searched, now what? Um, to, for example, if you have it on a mobile device, like an iPhone, and how you can share from there. So that video walks you through that. And then finally, we have a video that walks you through how to take notes, because note taking is might be a little bit different than what you're used to, but I think you're going to find it. It's way simpler. And I, and I actually give you some demos from the app of my choice, which is PDF Expert. And I talk about my workflow and, and how I have found in terms of my order of process for both note taking and highlighting and then getting that content into Notion, the way that has made me the most productive and, and the most effective. Um, so I hope you find this dashboard to be interesting, and I, ho I certainly hope that it will be useful to you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Rusty or myself to ask us. Um, we're happy to chat about this with you, and we hope that you will find it to be something you're interested in supporting. So thanks so much, and have a great day.